Hey, I'm Mehu Harry with DevExpress. You know, captures are great to add to your HP.NET web projects. But what the heck is a capture anyways? Completely automated public Turing test to tell computers and humans apart. Right. One of those is a great way to add a new level of security to your website. So, in this demo, I'm going to show you how to add a CAPTCHA and how easy it is to set up. So, let's check it out. To begin, I've created a simple ASP.NET website with one page on it. This page shows off blog comments. Now, to show the page, I have a repeater control that shows an ASPX headline within it and a couple of other controls in ASPX text box and button that lets you add comments. Now, let's take a look at this page in action. Now, as you can see, I'm displaying some of the comments from my recent ASPX CAPTCHA post. Now, this is fantastic for letting users add comments. The problem comes in is when we don't know if somebody is a human or just an automated spam bot. So say, for example, some automated spam bot can come in and see, oh, well, here is a text field, and here I can just add some spam. And they can go ahead and just add this comment because it's all open to them, and there's nothing preventing them from adding these comments. And the system can quickly get out of hands where you'll have to delete several spam comments. Now, what would be really useful is if we had a capture control in here to verify before the comment was added to our system. So let's take a look at the project. Now, just to go over the project real quickly, I'm using an XML file to store the comment. So the comment that we just added was added here, and I can just simply remove it. Now, I will be making this project available as well, and it'll be within the description of the blog post and or the video description. Now, to verify before somebody can add a comment, we'll add a capture control right before our add comment button. Now, I can simply move the add comment button down and add the ASPX CAPTCHA control, but because I've got some custom styles, I'll do this to the source view. Now, you can see that I have some divs that are using some CSS entries for form fields. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna add a couple of divs. Now, the first div is actually just a label, so I'm going to throw an ASPX label control that will be used by the CAPTCHA for reporting. Now, I'll call it label captcha, and we'll set its text to verification code. Now, I've set the class name to form field name, and as I said that, I'll make this project available, but all these styles are already de predefined up at the top here. Now, in the form field is where we'll actually add our captcha control. So I'll go ahead and, and drop any XPX CAPTCHA control there. Now I'll change the name to CAPTCHA. And let's take a look at it in design view now. Now we can see that we have the label called verification code and we have a very nice CAPTCHA before can somebody can add a comment. Now the first thing I wanna make sure is I wanna set this auto format to match the theme that I have here. So I'm going to set it to aqua to match the theme of my current layout. Now our CAPTCHA control is there and it will work. However, there's one key piece that we need to make sure that the CAPTCHA has a valid verification code in there. Now to do this, we're gonna add it into our add comment click. So before any comment can be added to our XML file, we'll make a quick check to see if the CAPTCHA controls is valid. Now we'll say if the CAPTCHA control is not valid, then return out of the method. Now, let's take a look at this in action. Now, when a automated spam bot or some non-human comes to your site and tries to add a spam link, they'll first have to go through this verification code. And if they don't enter in the proper code, they'll get a message letting them know that the submitted code was incorrect and no items will be added so that only a correct human will be able to come in and say and enter in a proper code that generally most humans can read so that when they add the comment they won't get any message and if we look at our page again our comments will be added. Now just to recap you can easily add the capture control and if you'd like to learn more about the capture control 
go to demos.devexpress.com and click on the data editor for ASP.NET, you can see its three main key components, which is the challenge image, the refresh button, and the text box. Now, these are all configurable, and if you want to see a great example, check out the custom appearance demo. So as you saw, the CAPTCHA is super easy. You drop it on there, and the method that you want to check it on, just call the isValid method. Now to learn more on how you can customize it, check out the online DevExpress demos and the custom appearance demo of the ASPX CAPTCHA. And if you're interested in the project that I use, I'm going to make that available, and it'll either be in the video description and probably the blog post as well. Thanks for watching.